Aloha and welcome! This is Kimo and welcome to my channel, KimoCraft. In today's video, I'm making some DIYs made out of some rather unconventional materials from the Dollar Tree. These items didn't come from the craft section, they didn't even come from the toy section. In fact, they came from the party and entertainment and catering section where you find all those plastic bowls and utensils. So let's hop right into our first DIY project. This DIY project is a faux metal planter slash candle holder. I really love the colorful and metallic effects that I get from this one. And to start, we have this container that I got from that catering section at Dollar Tree. And it has three containers kind of attached together in this chrome type of finish, although it is made out of plastic. And I'm just going to join these two pieces together, putting some E6000 glue uh, on both of the bottoms, I guess you could say, and using some hot glue as well for the uh, temporary hold. So we've got the temporary hold with the hot glue and the more permanent hold with the E6000 glue. Now I wanted to minimize the gaps between the two pieces and so I'm just taking some of this caulking and putting that uh, around our piece here, uh, filling in those gaps so that it can be one seamless piece. These containers already come with a really cool kind of chrome finish and if I was going for more of a glam style I might be tempted to just leave the finish as is but I wanted to add a little bit of color and so I decided to uh, paint this up a little bit using one of my favorite colors turquoise and so we're going to head on over to the garage where I'm going to be spray painting our piece. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love a good copper metallic spray paint. And so I'm going to be using that color to spray paint the inside or the top portion of our piece. And then I'm going to flip that over and paint the remainder of our piece with this really cool, it's a satin finish, um, sort of a light turquoise kind of color. It's a really vibrant color actually that I really love. And I really think that these two colors are going to provide a nice contrast with the metallics on the inside. It's still going to bounce off some of the light uh, if we use a candle. And what I'm going to do now is to just to add a handful or two of these white pebbles that I got from Dollar Tree that I absolutely adore and I've used a lot of times. And here is our final result. I really love this cool modern shape from this piece. I also love the two-tone colors with this beautiful turquoise at the bottom. And I love how the light bounces off this copper metallic spray paint color on the top. But I also decided to show you this piece used as a planter. And you can see that I've just stuck some of those Dollar Tree succulents up at the top for a completely different look. What do you think? Aloha and welcome to my channel, Kimo Craft. This is Kimo here, and I love to do arts and crafts DIYs that are friendly to the budget. I love DIY projects that are clean, colorful, and contemporary. So if that interests you, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post a new video to my channel. And today's video is a very exciting, unconventional materials collaboration with some of my YouTube pals. I want to thank Dave, Miguel, and of course Elena for bringing us all together for this very exciting collaboration. I've got a link to the playlist where you'll find all the videos from the creators who are participating in this collaboration. Please go ahead and show them some love and support and please let them know that their pal, Chemocraft, sent you. Check out how sleek, elegant, and simple these modern minimal candlestick holders are. And you may not believe what I'm going to use to create these. It starts off with these Dollar Tree napkin holders. They're made out of plastic, but again, they have that sort of chromey finish. And these small plastic bowls that come in a pack from Dollar Tree as well. I'm simply going to use a hot glue gun to run a thin line of hot glue on the bottom of one of the napkin holders. And then we're going to attach those napkin holders directly to the bottom of those little plastic bowls. And by the way, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video to my channel. 
And now I'm going to spray our candlesticks with this black flat spray paint, which I think will give our pieces a really sleek and modern look. It's really amazing to me what you can achieve with a coat of paint or a coat of spray paint. It can really elevate a piece. Now after that stride, I needed to find a way to ensure that the candles were going to remain upright because the width of those napkin ring holders is a little too wide. So I decided to get some air dry clay and this is just the Cray Crayola brand and rolling it into a ball, uh, I'm also going to kind of place that ball right into the top portion of our candlestick. And then using the candlestick itself, I'm going to insert the bottom of that candlestick and take it out. And after allowing this air dry clay to dry overnight, I'm just going to paint that air dry clay in a black craft acrylic paint. And by the way, if you are already a subscriber to my channel, aloha and mahalo so much. I really appreciate your love and support and I really love reading your sweet comments. They just really make my day. And here's our final result. So simple, so elegant, and so high-end. I don't think that I would ever guess that these are made out of napkin ring holders and little plastic bowls if I hadn't have made these myself. I really love these so much, and I think they just add a hint of class to any decor. So whenever I have leftover materials, I always try to challenge myself to use them in some creative way to reduce the amount of waste that I create with my crafts. And I decided to make some of these little mini planters out of the remaining napkin ring holders that I had from the Dollar Tree. All I'm doing here is that I'm tracing the inside of our napkin ring holders onto a piece of foam board and then cutting that out with an X-Acto knife. And everything was going well until I found out that I had cut that circle a little bit too small so it was just going right through our napkin ring holder. So note to self and back to the drawing board, I had to make them a little bit bigger so that we could neatly sort of uh, put them into the napkin ring holders snugly. And I'm also adding a little bit of hot glue to the bottom of our mini planters for added security. And now back to the garage for yet more spray painting. And here I'm using a rustic orange spray paint to give our pieces somewhat of a terracotta look. And once our little mini planter pieces have dried, I'm going to take some of this floral foam and cut it out so that we can fit some of that into each of our little mini planters. So I'm just taking one of the pieces uh, there and turning it upside down onto that floral foam to leave an impression, which I'll then cut out using a utility knife. Once I've cut the floral foam down to size, I'm going to insert it right directly into that napkin ring. And now we're going to add some florals. And here's some florals from both Dollar Tree as well as Walmart. I'm just cutting little bits of uh, that foliage off, which we're now going to insert into each of those napkin rings into the, uh, the floral form. So I'm just adding a little bit of hot glue and inserting those little mini plants into our napkin rings. And to cover up our floral foam, we're going to put some hot glue on our little floral pieces there and cover the bottoms with some floral moss, again, which I purchased from Dollar Tree. And I decided to turn our little mini planters into magnets. And so these magnets came from my stash and I'm gonna attach them using some E6000 glue to the back side of each of the napkin ring holders. And by the way, I've also seen these magnets or something very similar to them on sale at Dollar Tree as well. And here's our final result. I 
took this video out in the front entryway to our house. We have a metal railing there that I've attached these magnets to. I think they are so cute. And you could put them on your refrigerator or put them on a magnet board to hold memos and messages and photos. I just absolutely love these. You may have seen these long, sleek, elegant votive candle holders before, and I decided to make my very own version using some items from the Dollar Tree, including these plastic champagne cups. Now these glasses have a top portion where the liquid actually goes into and the bottom portion or the base. And for this project, we're really just going to use the base. But on the base, I realized that there's this little plastic portion that kind of protrudes from the bottom that I needed to remove as much as possible. So I decided to use the end of my hot glue gun to melt down the plastic and remove those parts so that we could flatten it out a bit more. Now I probably could have used another tool for this. If you have an idea about what tool might work better, leave me a comment below and let me know, will ya? And for this project, I'm also using a piece of scrap wood. In this case, this is a piece of balsa wood that I had left over, which is about 24 inches long. And I'm just going to measure out where I should attach these little tower tumbler blocks that you also get from Dollar Tree. Uh, and those are going to act as feet onto our stand. For this project, I considered a number of different finishes, including just staining this peach, which I think would have been really lovely. But I decided to show you my baking soda paint trick with my ground pepper to add some texture trick as well. So we're gonna start with our mixture of baking soda and paint. For this project, it's about a one-to-one -one ratio. And I use baking soda and paint to give the piece a little bit of texture. Now I'm kind of just globbing the paint on and while the paint is still wet, you can see that I'm gonna pull out this restaurant grind style of black pepper. And I'm going to sprinkle that onto a piece while the baking soda paint is still wet. Now I'm gonna dab on more paint using my chip brush right directly over the pepper just to ensure that it all stays on. And for difficult to reach areas like maybe the edges or the sides, I'm applying pepper directly onto my wet brush. After the paint has completely dried, I decided to add on some of this brown antique wax uh, in a dry brush kind of fashion to really enhance the edges of our piece and to give our piece sort of an aged stony look. So while that's drying, we're now going to add a little bit of color to the base pieces of our champagne glasses, just using some black flat spray paint. Probably the most time consuming part of this particular project was trying to whittle down those plastic bumps on the inside of these bases there. And that's eventually where the little tea lights are going to go. So it was important to kind of get that, uh, that bump minimized as much as possible. And now we just need to add those champagne glass base pieces back onto our wood block here. And so I'm just gonna use some E6000 glue. I've already measured out where each of those base pieces should go, and it's simply a matter of attaching them. I'm gonna leave them overnight to dry, and here's our final result. For me, it's still hard to think that this piece originated as a piece of scrap wood and some plastic champagne glass bases that now turned into this really beautiful votive candle holder piece. It just goes to show you that you don't have to be too fancy to get a fancy result. And in fact, I think this entire piece costs less than $1 to make. Thank you again so much for joining me today, and please remember to visit all of the other creators who are also participating in this unconventional materials collaboration. There's a link in my description box below that'll take you to the playlist where you can see everyone's video. Please go check them out. See you soon.